that's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. That was a little suspicious. <laughs> wow. I've never seen the sea before. Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right, got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. He didn't know any better. I mean, it's not like he's had a kid or anything. 
Oh, I feel kind of bad now after that. <laughs> Dang it. Fucking Tipo, man. He's like, check out that ocean. You'll die if you'll fall if you fall in. It's like, okay, thanks. Yeah, that's really great. No, thanks. That's great. I may die if I fall in. Thanks. The softest beds in town. Trust me. The beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right. I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? <laughs> All right. The suspicious sailor. Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. Seriously? Is that like a thing? Oh, I'll have to check that. Um. Uh, forgot what I was going to say for some reason. I, I was like, I was going to say something and like totally. Oh, yeah. Um, friggin Alvin's getting a little suspicious. He's getting on my suspicion bar. He's getting on my a little. He's getting a little high on my suspicion bar. He's like. He was like down here and then all of a sudden he went, Woo! Is that, 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 that pigeon thing and then telling us not to tell Mila? Yeah, that was weird. Uh, deliver something for you. Uh, sure. Please take this at the end at Charlatan or Charlatan. Alright. Yeah, we can do that for you. No problem. No problem. So was there like a guy... I was supposed to talk to. Hey, buddy. I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of Tipo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh yeah, they look just like that one. That might be T-Boat's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other t besides t -Bo? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow, these new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I'd bought one for my daughter. Yeah, because buying these, like, living things is totally cool. I can't imagine it's legal. But, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, what do you got, woman? Woman? A shady woman? Holy crap. Just because she's, like, at the other side of town, in the shade, that means she's a shady woman. Buy me a poison stinger. Don't ask what it's for. Gee! I wonder what, what what it's for. Maybe you have like an untrustworthy husband or something. What about you, sir? A bounty hunter. Greetings, friend. People call me the amazing bounty hunter. How would you folks like to help me with a little job? Sure. Why not? If you help me, I'll tell you why people call me the amazing bounty hunter. Yeah, why not? Your mission is to eliminate monsters attra attacking travelers on the high road. My sources indicate they have a nest in the Sabstra... Sabstrath deep wood. Now go get them. Don't worry, if things turn hairy, my amazing self will be right there to help you. I'm guessing you're not going to show up at all if I get a game over. <laughs> so what is it, Sabstrath, I guess? I guess that's how you say it. Um, okay, let's get moving. Wait, wait, actually, you know what, let's, uh, let's expand and get armor. We haven't really gotten armor in a little while, and I feel, I feel like we should. Uh, I don't know why I added that one thing in. Iron Guard. 
We'll just throw the rest in here. See if we can get one more, and then we'll be good. Uh, there we go. Chainmail! Good. So now we have upgrades for everyone. Will I have enough money, though? That's the question. So... No, I won't. Apparently. <laughs> Bronze helm, though. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can sell anything. Um, also, <clears throat> when I was grinding, I actually, like, went back and I saw some chests I missed, so... And I also turned in that one quest at, like, the ver like where we got at Neokara. I forgot to mention that, so my bad. But I got, like, these... I think I got Jasmine while I was there. But I would sell that. Whoops. I really, like, need to get some money. Like, really badly. <laughs> ah, keep poison ward. Okay. So, I think I have enough money now to buy... I could... Yeah, I'm gonna buy the chainmail. I was gonna buy the headdress, but chainmail probably takes priority. So there we go. Sorry about, like, doing all that again. But let's go ahead and save. Guess not. <laughs> you there, would you hear my story? Oh my god, there's this guy sitting on a barrel. He must be, like, important. Sorry, we're kind of in a hurry. It's a matter of time, alright? Come now, don't be like that. Linger a moment and bring an old man some joy. What kind of story? You don't want to go there, Jude. Give this guy an inch and he'll take a mile. Don't worry, young man. I promise this story will be worth your time. Why, it might even save your life. Uh, okay. Sounds interesting. Tell us your story. That's more like it. Now hear my tale of monsters. Uh, sure. Many years ago, a young man named Trill lived among a northern tribe. Trill had a talent for controlling monsters, an unusual gift that gave him the ability to draw out a monster's hidden power. But Trill's genius was not easily sated, and he began to dabble in forbidden arts. By tampering with monsters' mana lobes, he sought to create a monster that would grow stronger with every battle. Tampering with mana lobes? But that's not... Possible? No. But Trill did it all the same. After over 20 years of research, he successfully created six new monsters. These creatures, with their hyper-enlarged mana lobes, could cast new spirit arts out of pure instinct. Each of the six monsters had a weapon growing out of its body, as if each was a living incarnation of the weapon itself. These weapons were dubbed Devil Arms. Ooh, Devil Arms! That's the shit! And monsters themselves, Devil's Beast. Or beasts. In all my years as a mercenary, I've never heard a story like that. <laughs> of course you haven't, young man. Twenty years ago, Trill took his six, or I was going to say seven for some reason, six devil's beasts and led them into a great war. But a huge tsunami hit the battlefield and washed everything away, including Trill. And thus, the secret knowledge needed to create those monsters was lost. That's it. Thanks for wasting our time, old fella. Ah, but the story's not over yet. You see, the Devil's Beast didn't, didn't die that day. 
Trill's death released them, and to this day, they still roam free somewhere in the world. And you said these Devil's Beasts get stronger with every fight. I did, and now that they've been fighting for over 20 years, I can't even imagine how strong they must have become. So listen well. If you see a monster with a weapon growing out of its body, do not attempt to fight it. That, my friends, is the moral of my little story and the secret to a long life. Dude, if I fight it, though, I'll get a devil arm. A devil's arm. That would be really cool. I'm glad they brought that back. Because that was like a good thing in Symphonia. Like, pretty much devil's arm and... The sea air is making me feel unpleasant. You gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta like, interrupt me, Mila. Good job, good job. Um, devil's arm and Symphonia. Pretty much you defeat these, this really pa- Well, you find them and then you defeat this really powerful guy and it unlocks a secret to them. And pretty much, um, the thing about them is, like, every, in, at least in that game, every monster you kill boosts the weapon's power. So, like, if, like, let's see right now, I have 100 encounters. So, I think the weapon would be 100 attack. In Symphonia, I had 2,500 encounters, so that was the most powerful attack I fucking had. Uh, our weapon I fucking had because you just add it on to the attack and it, it was a bitch ton of attack So I don't know if it still works the same in this game, but that's cool that they brought it back. So That's a thing But uh, anyway, we can uh, start moving on I think we're heading to uh, Sher Sherilton Sopstreth High Road, and wow, this music is like really. Wow, this music is like. Really like. What's the word? Inspirational? It's It's got a. It's got something in it. Uh, Ivor's Duties. Oh boy, that handmaid of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes. He cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow, your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes, the clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. Fucking Ivor. Fucking Ivor! Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm, does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. I wish they'd like showed the uh the poster. But uh oh jeez, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was gonna sneeze. My bad. <laughs> Oh, I feel empowering. I don't know why. I feel I feel more powerful for some reason. Maybe it's the new weapons. I can still do better. Hell yeah! Oh, jeez, my nose is all runny now because of that. I don't know what was up with that. But we get rotten bones. And looks like there's a shiny shine in this tree. Rotten bones in a tree. God damn it, this game. Land crabs and trees, shiny bone or rotten bones in trees. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um anyway we can What's with this rock? Nice. 
I was hoping I could like move it out of the way, you know, <laughs> so I can climb, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This this music feels kind of Legendia-ish. I know it's I know it's not the same composer, but it feels I don't know. It feels kind of Legendia-ish.